Welcome to the class Dry Mushrooms This is a complete series about the dry mushrooms here we will cover every aspect of this dry mushrooms like why every farmers needs mushrooms dryers why we need to dry our mushrooms the correct way for sun drying the mushrooms otherwise like how to make the dehydrators ourselves what are the principle behind it what are the setup cost in instruments which we will need and then the construction method we will uh, cover it in detail so that you can uh, really construct your own mushroom dehydrators rather than buying it at an exorbitant price also uh, the mushroom storage and packaging methods and how to preserve the dry mushrooms for several weeks and how to transport them to various places without damaging them and last but not the least we will cover about the marketing aspect of these dry mushrooms how to market where to market what the different channels available towards us about branding after everything we will cover at that chapter okay so i do suggest you not to skip any part of this series and cover each and every topic which is related to the dry mushrooms because if you are a mushroom grower eventually you will find uh, one or another knowledge have very helpful in long run in your business why every farmer needs a mushroom dryer or a dryer system or a setup for drying their fresh mushroom there are several reasons among them i will discuss a few first of all if you are a mushroom cultivator or a trader or anyone who is dealing with fresh mushrooms it is very important that you should have a backup plan what will you do if a situation like covid again comes and all of sudden there is a lockdown announcement or any protest or election day comes or any natural calamity like flood etc happens and the transportation and the courier service on which you are depending uh, is not there or the client is not uh, in the position to collect the mushrooms at that time or there is a lack of demand or the quantity of mushroom which you have grown is so, so less that you cannot just sell it on fresh open market or at wholesale market so there should be always a backup plan for your fresh mushroom because mushrooms have very small uh, shelf life you cannot just uh, keep it uh, for long in normal room condition like where within one or two days they will start deteriorating and i am not talking about one variety it's like all about all varieties of mushroom including button mushroom oyster mushroom shiitake milky almost most of the fresh mushrooms will start losing their uh, color texture and quality as the days goes by there's a way you can uh, store it in uh, large deep freezers but again that's more uh, costly and eventually uh, you understand the mushroom takes a lot of volume they grow very fast rapidly and the volume they cover uh, that's like very much you just cannot store it one day and all of sudden it becomes very hard so there should be a plan a system upon which you are having your full faith and that's the drying and that's why you should have a dryer and sun drying this is the first reason secondly what's the market demand and trend is telling us that by the time consumers actually whatever we sell either fresh mushroom or dry mushroom the end consumer what they prefer matters so now uh, because we already know that mushrooms especially the dry mushrooms when they are dried they really retain the texture and the aroma and the flavor that become intense so the there is a huge bulk of customer base who are just preferring dry mushroom they want to use uh, the rich flavor of the dry mushrooms in their different cuisines either they dry it out powder in either powder form or directly for day various dish and several restaurants are nowadays preserving dry mushrooms so that whenever there is a huge rush of demand and anything they just don't have to rely upon fresh mushrooms also there are consumers Uh, who just take mushrooms a uh, little bit a day for their health and just they they cannot afford or they just don't want to visit the market of mushroom fresh mushroom and also that's not always available hence there is a huge consumer base who rely and also demand uh, the dry mushrooms moreover a huge uh, amount of mushroom consumers are not only having their mushrooms for delic delicious taste they want it for their health because mushroom do contains a lot of protein vitamin d fiber etc so according to various uh, because there are several mushroom like medicinal and gourmet in fact most what i will say like all the mushrooms are medicinal mushroom because they do have ample amount of nutrition which will help everybody to be uh, like healthy and have good immune system so you can uh, just calculate if you uh, dry 1 kg of fresh mushroom you will have 100 g of dry mushrooms 
normally around 80 to 90 percent of the bulk mass inside a fresh mushroom is water so the remaining uh, the dry mushroom is complete nutrition that's just a hub of super nutritious thing so uh, those uh, people who are uh, taking or uh, consuming mushroom as a supplement or for a regular diet for good health or for their bodybuilding and whatever or their performance booster they just uh, don't want only fresh mushroom they they find it very easy like if they can pop a pill or directly have a little bit of dry mushroom because that's like if one person is having 100 gram of mushroom that's like they are having one kilogram of fresh mushroom so there's a huge customer base and the demand and the trend is continuously increasing for the dry mushroom market so again our consumer will uh, decide what they want and that's also the reason if you are into the mushroom business you should give it considerable thought and obviously the dry mushroom is the next future because uh, it has huge export potential as well so you should have your dry uh, dryer setup now overall there are two ways uh, any cultivator or trader can dry their fresh mushroom the most popular one is sun drying for sun drying because why it's most popular you will have natural uv from the sun and uh, it will be full of vitamin d's and it's like natural way of drying the mushroom no electricity will be needed hassle free and uh, it takes around two to three days at most uh, but what are the few things you need for sun drying that like you should have a space which is like open enough and it should have sun from all around at least 360 degree the more the sun exposure to that area the better it becomes and the area should be neat and clean there should not be a possibility of any animal or insect or human beings uh, stepping on those uh, mushrooms or anywhere just keep it protected from any kind of dust dirt and uh, interference and the mushrooms will be quite fine in upcoming chapters definitely and uh, next part i will be explaining how to sun dry your mushroom perfectly how to get best of it and again fine it's nice that we have a sun drying system and all but uh, what about the rainy days there will be days when there is no sun it's like all fog and otherwise there is abrupt rain or the situation is not good weather condition is continuously flooding there are rains for two three days continuously and during those days you will definitely feel the need for a dryer setup so that's why i will say that uh, it doesn't matter how big or how small farmer you are you should have a dryer ready always now there are two ways either you can purchase a dryer but definitely that's a very costly any dehydrator any food dehydrator with any dryer whichever is used for like vegetable drying or fruits drying they will work for mushroom as well but if you just assume the mushrooms are like quite bulky and uh, to dry if you are having if you are going to purchase a dryer for around like 100 kilogram of setup that will definitely cost you more than lakh rupees one lakh two lakh it will depend how robust is that moreover you will be needed to uh, pay more like for the tax gst etc and then the shipping charges and then there will be added cost for setup installation and there will be warranty issues you won't be able to repair it on your own because you are not the manufacturer and several kind of things uh, also during shipment sometimes the dryer gets damaged so as it this is a bulk and heavy heavy duty things so there are several aspects of a dryer and it's not often what we prefer we do not prefer to buy such a um, costly setup that's why you should not go for buying dryer rather you can make your own dryer you can make your own do your self dryer diy dryer and that's quite easy in upcoming chapter definitely i will explain you how and step by step cost effectively you can prepare your own dryer which will work much better than those commercial dryers available in the market so stay tuned and this is a complete uh, you can say complete play series the playlist is there mushroom dry diy complete all the lessons in this chapter and you will learn everything about the mushroom drying